Good morning, everybody. It's Nicole with Fields of Grace, and uh, today we're doing a little garden tour. We've got a sunny day, finally. It's going to be sunny all day. It's going to get up to 80, and uh, so I'm checking on some stuff in the garden. I feel like when I do these gardening tour videos, uh, by the time they get posted, um, when they're posted, it's like a week behind. Um, it's May 26th. That's my last morning before the kids are out of school for the summer, so I'm trying to get a whole bunch of stuff done. Um, but I'm going to do a little walk through here. So I have, um, zucchini and zucchini. Now yesterday she had a flower on her and, um, came out this morning and the flower was plucked off. So I've got friends, um, not friends visiting my garden. Um, I've got a stray lettuce from last year and a stray carrot from last year. This guy might be about ready to get pulled. I'll be pulling her soon enough when the zucchinis get bigger. Um, I've got lots of green beans growing in the back. There's also a couple of um, buttercream sunflower seeds like behind the trellis um, that I don't know if they're going to grow or not, but I thought they'd be pretty to like poke up behind there. Um, I have this area right here and I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it because I have zucchinis right here that are going to grow. They might cover this area, I'm not sure. Kind of hard to see in here with the morning shadows, but I've got a handful of celeries growing. I've got another stray little lettuce. <laughs> My butternut squashes, y'all, are not poking through. I'm not sure what's going on with those. And my eggplant, I think I've got one poking through. I had one little eggplant seed left in my packet, so I got, went ahead and planted it. Um, I'd really, butternut squash and eggplant are both new to my garden this year, so I'd really like one of each of them to grow so I could at least learn a little bit about them. Um, and then we have our garlic, you guys. It's getting um, really close. The stalks here are getting thick. They're starting to yellow just a little bit. Well, the tips, the tops are nice and green. They're getting very tall, but they're definitely, well, I got like one skinny one. Um, but some of them are getting thicker and I'm about one to two weeks away from first farmer's market. So I really need to be able to get in here and start pulling a couple of these bigger ones to have them ready. Um, I do have something planted in this front row here, and I don't remember what it was, but they're starting to poke through. Um, my little pepper transplants, there's one here, and one here, and one here. I snuck them in between the rows of garlic. Um, they're doing very well. Y'all, I'm still wondering what these are. Can you see them in there? They're coming back. I don't know what they are. Kind of bizarre and strange. I've been weeding. I have all sorts of these little weeds. I'll show you over by the green onions. Um, my little pumpkins, y'all, are, there's two growing in there, mini pumpkins. Doing good. Stay here, Triggy. Um, this is the cut flower garden, one of them. And all that rain is paying off, you guys. I don't know if you can see, there are definitely lots of green coming up. Kind of zoom in. You can see here, um, these are pop art zinnias. Um, I finally, no, that's a weed, doggone it. Weeds. I thought my snapdragons were poking through, but they are not. So it looks like those are zinnias poking through. And then those are the dahlia tubers, y'all. And they are finally coming up, looking really nice. I've got a couple of the buttercream sunflowers in the corner, just for some pretty accents. Um, let me see over here. Um, we have, um, I think these were raspberry zinnias here coming up um, my permit marker all washed off in the rain but I have it written down inside Canterbury bells I think there's a couple of these coming up here um, and then we have more of the dahlia tubers in the back I'm not sure what's going on back in that corner because nothing's growing um, let's take a look here um, <laughs> my little signs you guys, I don't know if it's birds. I think I have birds pestering my garden. Um, my little signs are poking up. Okay, so look at all the green back here, you guys. So again, I have dahlia from seeds growing in the back here. Um, we have, um, I have a different kind of zinnia. I can't remember what kind, but these guys here are zinnias. Um, and I have Canterbury bells in the middle here. Those are all poking through, which is very good. Um, those are very pretty for fillers for bouquets. Um, what did 
we have over here? I have light white lysanthus in here and it's not poking through. And then I lost the little tag for here. I have something planted. I'm trying to remember what it is. Um, oh wait, I lied. Look, I've got something coming through here on this side. So that's good. Um, it's hard to tell over here because when we mow and weed whack, um, it all blows in because it's windy out here. And these garden beds are not set and established yet. We still have to do that. We've just been too busy. Um, but let's take a look in here. So ants have been an issue, y'all. And I've got a couple of videos coming up. Actually, they might be up by the time you see this one. I don't know. <laughs> um, and I'm using cinnamon and I'm using um, diatomaceous earth. Um, and then I also came in this morning and just put a little bit of baking soda on a couple of the ant hills that are trying to come up here. My lettuces are doing really well. A bunch of littles coming up. I've got a whole variety going on. I don't know if we can see it, but in here, can we see those? Right in here, there's some red leaved ones coming up. I have a heat wave blend with some red tinted lettuce. Um, sweet turnips are doing well. That's a new one for us this year. Snap peas are all coming up nice. Um, radishes are doing well. I have um, cucumber seeds planted back there. They are not coming up. Um, and so I have three cucumber transplants growing in a pot up on the deck. And I'll be bringing those down soon. Um, one of the things I was looking for was green onions, y'all, because I have about 100 green onion seeds planted in this garden bed. So I'm going to see if we can see them. You can see them coming up. They are in here. They're like right in here. Quite a few of them coming up now. They're also in between my radish rows. <laughs> um, and I've been having to weed, you guys. And here's some green onions here. You can see them standing up right here. Um, and a lot of weeds in this garden bed also look like green onions. They're not. Their leaves are just a little different. Um, so I've been having to pull some weeds out. But this garden bed's looking pretty good. Tricky, get over here. Look at him, he's trying to wander off. Get over here, come on. Come on. He likes to hang out back here by the creek. Get over here, bud. Um, and then, this is the new bed, y'all. Um, the new watermelon plant I planted for my daughter is doing really well. We've got some peppers in this corner. There are seeds planted in this corner, I'm waiting for them to pop up. This might be one, I'm not sure. It doesn't look like a weed. Um, I have seeds planted in this corner. They are not coming up. I definitely have weeds coming up, that's for sure. The problem with being right next to fields, you guys, the weeds love my garden beds. Um, my tomato plants are coming back. Um, so that's exciting. Really happy for that. Um, they're looking a lot better. We had all that rain. They were struggling. This guy's done. This poor little dude. He's done. Um, so that's why I planted this nice one next to him. But, um, so, kind of hard to see. Let me try to get an angle in here. I gotta come out and cut these. My husband added another layer of boards, you guys, and then he put them right on top of my string. So I can't pull my string out. I'm gonna have to come out and cut it. Um, but I definitely have some herbs. Can we see them? We can see them right there. Um, I think that's sage. I've got rosemary coming on the side here. Mint is not growing. None of my mint seeds y'all have been growing. Um, not even in the pots. The uh, basil plants, at least one of them is doing alright. I have one in a pot and I actually plucked a little bit off of her. Um, and put her in a little ham and cheese slider and that was pretty tasty <laughs> um, but this one maybe not so much I do I need to pluck off the tops you guys here soon keep using that basil so she keeps regrowing I don't know what's happening right here can you guys see this something keeps hopping in here and stirring up my dirt and it's making me mad um, somebody came in and plucked I think it was a bird they literally snapped off the top half of that cherry husky plant um, <laughs> And she's still green. I mean, her leaves are still green, so she's okay. Um, but something keeps coming in here, right in here, and playing in my dirt. 
um, and they seem to be leaving my little sweet banana pepper plants alone, so I don't know what they're doing. We don't have squirrels, so it's not squirrels. Um, but I think I have another little basil popping up right here. Um, these three right here are sweet banana peppers multicolored, and they were my favorite thing, I think, that I got to plant in this new bed. And they are struggling. <laughs> um, so I hope the sunshine today really helps them out. We're supposed to get another inch of rain tomorrow, you guys. Um, sometimes that's good and sometimes it's not. Man, my ants, you all look at this. Tuck on it. They are poking up all through here. Um, those little boogers. I'm going to have to come back. And you can see I have diatomaceous earth in here. And um, I've got cinnamon sprinkled in here. I've got to do something with these ants. Some ants are okay. I don't want them making this their palace. Um, I'm gonna have to go get that baking soda and sprinkle around in here. And um, I think that's what we got for today, you guys. Be sure to like and subscribe and uh, keep following along.